uh, happy Saturday. Um, so uh, this is kind of an impromptu. So we'll let me get the camera arranged here. That didn't work very well, did it? There. There. So a little bit of an impromptu stream here. So uh, don't know who will come, who won't, but uh, need to uh, kind of go through this. Uh, basically, I was trying to think about how to cover this topic. Um, but uh, basically, uh, we are having some humidity issues here in the barn right now. Oh, I'm not liking that camera. Hold on. So we're having some uh, humidity issues right now in the barn. And uh, we need to do some insulation work upstairs, basically, is how this is uh, coming down. So uh, basically, I came up. Uh, hey, David Mendoza, how's it going? Uh, welcome to the stream. So basically, uh, what's happening uh, upstairs is Tuesday night uh, before my stream, I walked upstairs and uh, the water, um, somehow, not water, but the drywall is actually falling off of the wall upstairs in the barn. So I will take you guys up and show you in just a minute, but I want to give it a couple more minutes to see who joined. Uh, but let's see who was in the chat. Uh, so Scotty G66 is here. How's it going? Uh, we've got Turbo Fish. Uh, Big D Smoke, uh, David Mendoza, like I said, hello, welcome. I haven't seen your name before. So let's go ahead here and just give it a couple more minutes. Uh, I'm going to grab a quick swig of coffee. So we got uh, fish room fevers in the house. So, I mean, the one thing I will say to you guys is I'm not going to come to, uh, hey, Chevy Fish. So I'm not going to come to you guys and say I have a problem without obviously offering um, a solution, but uh, hey Pam, how's it going? Uh, we got Chevy Fish in the house. Uh, so Big D Smoke again. Uh, it is morning for Big D uh, here. Um, here it's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. So here on the East Coast. So uh, 250 Aquatics is here. So uh, let's go ahead. Um, give it a couple more minutes. Got 10 on right now. So we'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll head upstairs. Uh, we'll take the other camera up and go ahead and take a look at what we got because it is uh, Something I do want to show you guys and I was kind of debating how to do it if to do it, etc But I think it's good to show it because if someone else tries to do something like this in the future uh, It's something that definitely you know the solution to it is definitely something you need to consider when you're building um, a building outside so uh, Let's go ahead uh, Let me give it like two more minutes and then I'll take you guys upstairs and we'll talk about what's going on you know i'll show you know, i'll even pull some of the drywall off and you know the um insulation off and i'll show you exactly what's going on and then uh from there uh yep yep illinois is an hour behind us so but i'll show you guys what's going on show you what uh you know show you what i'm doing to combat it um i did finish some of it already so i can show you some of the results so definitely it's something that you know again you know, people building fish rooms outside in garages, uh, the humidity is definitely something to take into account. So, all right. So, uh, Brian P is here. How's it going? Uh, hey, Dank. How's it going? Uh, Big J's is here as well. Um, Aqua Balls. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the camera. And we will flip it around and I'll take you guys upstairs and show you. Um, I will warn you that it is a mess. Um, it's literally um, a big time construction zone up there. But at the same time, you know, I don't want to like hide it either. So let's go ahead and uh, have a look. Uh, one thing I will tell you is when I'm upstairs, uh, you guys will not be able to. I won't have chat when I'm on the on the camera, so I'll come back down once we're kind of when I'm kind of through showing you what's going on, and then I'll answer all the questions in the chat. Uh, so just give me uh, one second here. Hey Rockford, how's it going?
All right, before we get going, uh, can I get an audio check real quick? Make sure the audio is good before I take this and run. Uh, should be okay, but just want to make sure. No, I know you do. So, yeah, just one quick second on the audio. Um, I think there's a pretty darn good lag on this, too. So. Uh, hey, LT's Aquatic Vision, how's it going? Our audio's good? All right, let's go ahead and take a walk. Uh, I will show you some things as we're going through here. Uh, so, this is done now. So, we do have the... Uh, 125 gallon tank going here uh, with the African cichlids. Uh, we do have the sword tails, the wild type sword tails up here as well. Uh, those are the uh, um, the Kalmani swords. And then uh, we do have the uh, Imbunas right here as well. Uh, I think they're Pseudochromus interruptus, I believe is what they are. I gotta get my labels made and stuff. So let's go ahead and head up to the top stairs. Um, close your eyes for a minute because it's gonna be interesting. So, all right, and it's dark compared to what it used to be. Um, obviously, you've seen the drywall out. So this is where the drywall was actually falling down. Uh, literally, I walked up here. Uh, I think it connected about here. So it connected about here, and literally, it was sagging down. So, so basically, this piece was sagging down, and the piece over here. And so, what we've done. Um, you can I can show you what's going on. Keep in mind this is a mess. So and obviously one of my tasks this afternoon is going to be cleaning this this up. But what's happening here? And I'm going to take this piece of insulation down and show you what's going on. Is if you take this down, I'm going to put this one back up. But what's happening? is up in here you're getting moisture in here and this piece isn't really bad either this one's not too bad so i can stay for a little while but basically there's no airflow up in here so what's happening is you're getting condensation and then it's getting into this insulation and then it's making the drywall sag so that's what's happening so now what i'll do is i'll tell you guys how to combat it and what we're doing here so I'm going to find somewhere where I can kind of present this in some sane order, but I might not be able to find a great spot. So that's the tank we talked about the other day. Let me flip the camera. There we go. All right, all right, so I'm here now. So let me find a spot to stick this where you guys can see me. All right, we're here, sort of, maybe. No, that's not gonna work. All right. Let's we'll stick it up here. Yeah, this is what happens. All right, that'll work. All right, let me find a piece of insulation to explain to you what's going on. So, all right. So, my mistake was up here, when I put the insulation up, um, there's uh, there's little vents that are in the, in the side of the roof, basically the side of your roof. And when I insulated it, I didn't allow for any airflow to come up through the top of the roof here in the barn. So what you need to do, or what I am doing, is these things are about two bucks a piece. So what you need to do is you need to stick it up against your joist inside of the cavity here, or inside of the cavity of your joist. And then I've been just stapling them up. And then I've been covering it, and then this is... Uh, closed cell insulation, which is waterproof, and then I've been sticking that above it. Let me, let me get it like this. So I've been sticking it above it like this, and then I've been kind of just spray foaming in the uh, the cracks and the gaps from there. 
so so that seems to be working pretty well so I'll come around here I'll flip the camera back around and I'll take it and show you guys uh, show it to you in action um, I did some of it yesterday so I can show you kind of how well it's working compared to uh, how it was before so let me turn this around again and then I'll show you what's going on all right all right so let's go ahead and take a walk over here so so if you take a look at this joist right here this is like still because this one's not been done yet right this is still super wet see there's there's like this little piece of insulation is all wet and damp so if you head back over here this joist right here there's still a little bit here but it's not nearly as bad this is like bone dry almost right now compared to what it was i mean these all these joists were soaked all the way down yesterday all the way down to there basically there's still i see still see a little bit of water so i gotta see if there's like air getting through here somewhere but it's been significantly improved from where it was at so so i do want to sh share this with you guys and show you kind of what's going on here because it's something that you know if you're building a fish room outside it's definitely something to keep in mind now unfortunately it's michigan it's winter time so i can't take the fish and take them out of here and so we're just gonna have to work around them um it is what it is and i know this is a this is a complete and utter disaster it looks like a disaster in here but it is what it is and you got to do what you've got to do so i'm gonna head downstairs we'll talk a little bit more about it but i did want to show it to you uh show you what's going on so let's head back down and then i'll flip everything back to the uh, other mics and stuff All right, so uh, all right, so uh, all right, so uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. But the audio is good. The driver, I can't see that from there. So, all right, let's go ahead and catch up with the chat here. Um, see who else has joined. Um, so obviously we got 22 on now so Jess is on hey Jess how's it going uh, welcome uh, yeah Rockford I did the vapor barrier when I did it I did the vapor barrier outside of the insulation like I did the insulation and then the vapor barrier so yeah so definitely um, you know I'm not a, a builder I mean I, I sit at a desk all day so but uh, definitely want to show that to you guys because it's something that's, you know, important to make sure people have, you know, have a good base of this and understand this. And especially if someone finds this and starts building their own fish barn, it's some, definitely something to uh, uh, got it going. So, yeah, I've got the air conditioner running up there, uh, Chevy Fish. Uh, so... So definitely, uh, yeah, it's definitely one of those things where it's def. you know, I want to talk about it because it's like, I was debating, I was, should I talk about it? Should I not? You know, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm like, you know what? We should talk. So, uh, do any of you guys have any other, um, yeah, I bought some, uh, I bought some, uh, drop cloth too. I think it was Chevy who said that, but, um. I just started going on it. So, uh, you know, by the way, if anyone else is streaming at this time, I do apologize. So, 
Um, Jess, am I going to put insulation over the foam? I gonna actually am thinking about leaving it open. So that way, um, there's a lot more airflow in there. So it's definitely one of those things where, you know, I'll get a little bit more airflow in there. Um, I am losing some R value. Uh, that was R. Um, the insulation that I had up there was R19. Uh, this is only R7.5. But at the same time, it's dry. And I've not noticed much of a difference so far. Um, I've done about a quarter of the room or so. So it's one of those things where it's, uh, um, you know, if I do anything, I'll spray foam it maybe. Uh, maybe I'll put another layer on it if I do that at all. Um, I am probably going to paint it either black or white. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but I think I, maybe I'll just paint the joist and paint the foam. So that way it's, uh, you know, it's at least a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than it is right now with the pink foam and brown, you know, brown joist etc but other than that i think i'm gonna leave it open because that way a it's cheaper because you know and two i mean if i were to do any more any sort of covering i wouldn't be doing that until um next uh in the summer right now it's you know it's probably like 25 30 degrees outside so it's definitely one of those you know that's a summer job to do that to you know call it all out there so it's, you know, and the good news right now um, with this uh, so far is that the uh, boards of insulation are going pretty far. So I can do about four, uh, four half sections per one piece of foam. So it's not been too bad. So it's definitely something that's made me uh, rather thankful it's not going to like be completely, you know, it's not cheap, but it's not ridiculously expensive either. And so far, it's gone pretty quickly to, to clean, you know, cleaning it up is going to be a disaster. But it's definitely one of those, you know, one of those things. So, um, let me see what else. If you guys have any other questions about it or any other suggestions. Yeah, I don't think I was going to spray paint it. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. Uh, Gen H is there. Uh, 30 degrees and cloudy. Okay. So 2530, I was I didn't look in, on the phone before I started, so So definitely uh Yeah, so we're definitely, you know, keeping it up and and I wasn't going to make a video for tomorrow because like right now I've got too much going on with this to you know, to put out a video. So I figured I'd go live real quick here, uh share it out with you guys, give you guys, you know, kind of give you guys an idea what's going on up there. Um, like I found it like Tuesday night before the stream and I really didn't want to, you know, show it to you until I had a solution to it. So I did a little bit of research, etc., And then, uh, you know, from there, you know, found out with this. So, um, I don't know who else is on right now, but, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, call it because I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. But, uh, I want to thank you guys for coming out on a Saturday, uh, you know, kind of impromptu. So, uh, with that being said, um, if you are not subscribed, you just found this, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ding the, uh, uh, ding the, um, notification bells, etc. Uh, 250 Aquatics is time-lapse the cleanup. Uh, I might, or, you know, I might just clean it up and tell you later, you know? So, it's one of those things where it's like, eh, you know. I think I might, I mean, obviously, I think it'd be pretty boring for someone to sit there and watch me clean up dry, wet drywall and, uh, you know, stuff like that, wet insulation. So, uh, I will keep you guys up updated. Uh, in normal cases, if you guys are new and haven't found this, um, I am normally do go live uh, Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. And then uh, there's usually a video on Sunday and on occasion. Yeah, spray paint will melt it. That's true. That is a true statement. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, hit the like button like Scott G said. I do appreciate it. So, I'm getting back to work. I uh, appreciate it. And then on, oh, and by the way, if you guys are looking for these Corvus coffee mugs, these coffee makes you poop, um, they, uh, you can get them at Dave and Buster's. I think they're like 800 points.
Um, I've got heat, uh, Chevy, I've got a heater in here already, so maybe I'll just turn the air off. I was just trying to get some of the moisture out of the air. So I will turn the, the air off, and then uh, we'll go for, get some get some airflow going in here. So definitely a good point. Uh, so it looks like, uh, all right, so yeah, Chevy, that's a good point. So I'll, I'll maybe turn the air on to fan instead of just having the cooling going uh, just to blow some air. So that being said, stay fishy. Keep on breeding, and we'll catch you uh, Tuesday night. Thanks a lot, guys.